We know you have many choices for news, and we thank you for choosing CBS 2. I'm Paul Majors. And I'm Pat Harvey. The CBS 2 News at 6 with Harold Green begins right now. This is CBS 2 News at 6. Rain, 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 snow, and more rain. What a way to start the weekend. Good evening, I'm Harold Green. Ann has the night off. Wet weather's our top story here at 6 on this Friday. It's coming down all over the Southland right now, causing flooding and slippery roads. In Ventura, heavy rains left some streets looking more like streams. Floodwaters got so high on one road that a driver had to be rescued from his vehicle. Fire and rescue crews say the uh, rising water is making it very difficult for them to get to stranded motorists. And rain down here means snow up there in the mountains. It was really coming down in Gorman this morning, catching many drivers off guard and underdressed. Snowflakes the size of silver dollars mostly melted once they hit the ground. Some residents used umbrellas to fend off the flakes. Others just used their own two feet. It was a tough day, though, to stay dry. Here's Johnny Mountain now with a look at what we can expect tonight and through the weekend. Johnny? Well, it's been coming down all day right here in Hollywood right now. Still, so a little bit of drizzle to light showers anywhere between a quarter of an inch all the way up to an inch and a half up around Santa Barbara and Ventura as the mountains have been catching quite a bit of rain and or snow above that 4,500 foot level. So much that we're expecting another two inches of snow tonight as the storm system rolls on through. Two view Doppler right now, you can see it beginning to move out of the area. Here's Riverside right in the middle of the screen to the south. Down around San Diego, some thunderstorms were popping up today. Also some hail and some gusty winds wrapped around a low pressure center, which is over us right now and beginning to move out of our area. Lots of moisture out there. It will continue as we'll take a look at the storm that came in uh, in the morning hours and moved through most of the day. Now, generally, Harold's been telling us about some exceptions, but generally this has been a soaking rain. It'll continue throughout tonight and tomorrow with about a 40% chance of a shower. There's your Saturday. It's looking pretty good. Scattered showers, but Sunday, more rain headed our way, and so will I. I'll be headed back your way with your forecast for the weekend. In just a few minutes, Harold, back to you. We'll see you then, Johnny. A deadly discovery in Big Bear Lake. Three men died while fishing. Tonight, investigators continue to search for clues as to what happened, and the victims have now been identified. CBS 2's Inland Empire reporter Greg Mills has more on this tragic story. The bodies of three fishermen pulled out of Big Bear Lake this morning. Tragic end to a late night fishing expedition. We've been told by the municipal water district that the water temperature itself is 49 degrees and under those conditions uh, the uh, approximate time for hypothermia symptoms to set in is, is about 15 minutes. There are indications the men were avid fishermen. Their empty truck and trailer sit at this marina on the west side of the lake. Their bodies and their capsized boat found about two miles away on the north end of Big Bear Lake. It was a fishing boat, an aluminum boat that was capsized about 15 or 20 feet out uh, from the shoreline itself. That capsized boat was spotted early this morning by a lakeside homeowner who called the sheriff. Sometimes unoccupied boats slip away from the dock and capsize. But the boat patrol quickly determined this boat had been occupied. There were stringers that were found on the boat with fish on the stringers, and that's what started the whole investigation to look for the bodies. Around 8 a.m., the boat patrol found the first body. About 20 minutes later, they discovered the other two bodies. It wasn't just the boat that was found close to shore. Their bodies were found close to shore also. At Big Bear Lake, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. A gunman has killed himself in a male hostage after barricading himself in a building at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. The four-hour ordeal hostage, the hostage ordeal, comes as the nation is still jittery over Monday's massacre at Virginia Tech. CBS 2's Terry Okita has the latest from Houston. SWAT Team Space Center Security and Houston Police surrounded a building housing communications equipment and a laboratory at Johnson Space Center after a gunman barricaded himself inside. Before Houston Police could make contact, the unidentified man began shooting. As our SWAT team members made entry, they did indeed determine that the suspect shot himself one time to the head. He appears to be deceased at this time. Also on the same floor, there was one other hostage that was shot. We believe that may have occurred in the early minutes of this whole ordeal. Police say the male hostage was killed, shot in the chest. A female hostage was unharmed after being tied up. They don't know the motive yet or how the three knew each other. A source inside the space center told KHOU-TV the gunman, described as a white male in his 50s or 60s, walked into an afternoon meeting, pointed the gun at the hostages and ordered everyone else out. It's a revolver, handgun, 
it appears to be a, a like a two-inch barrel or a snub nose might be the reference. Uh, it's, and it's either like a 38 or a 357, but I don't know for sure. Jacobs Engineering, a NASA contractor, says the gunman is one of their employees. Unconfirmed reports say the man was going to be fired on Friday. Workers were evacuated from the building. Police blocked roads within the 1,600-acre campus, and officials locked down a nearby middle school for a while. Standard procedure also called for mission control to secure its doors. Terry Okita, CBS 2 News. As the Virginia Tech community and the nation mourn the loss of so many lives from this week's campus massacre, tonight for the first time, we're hearing from the shooter's family. Sung Hee Jo's family is also reeling. Jo's sister has issued a statement. A portion of that statement reads, on behalf of our family, we are so deeply sorry for the devastation my brother has caused. We're heartbroken. We never could have envisioned that he was capable of so much violence. The community, though, is still struggling to pick up the pieces. Bells tolled and heads bowed in remembrance today of the students and faculty massacred at Virginia Tech earlier this week. <laughs> Bells rang at noon today on the Virginia Tech campus in Blacksburg as students comforted each other. A moment of silence was also observed as the community paid tribute to the 32 victims. Virginia's governor declared this a statewide day of mourning, and many are doing so by wearing the Hokie school colors. I think it's just a great way to remember everybody and to show our Hokie spirit. Pay my respects to the, to the dead and the injured and in a quiet way. With classes now set to resume Monday, students are being given the option of taking final exams. Back here in Garden Grove, a memorial was also held at noon at the Crystal Cathedral to remember the shooting victims. A moment of silence was observed and a bell tolled. Pastor Robert Schuler read the victims' names and 32 candles were lit in honor of the fallen students and professors. Just days after the Virginia Tech campus massacre, we're remembering the Columbine shooting. Flags are flying at half staff in Littleton, Colorado on the eighth anniversary of the high school massacre. Twelve students and one teacher were killed at Columbine when two students went on a shooting spree before killing themselves. Days after the rampage of Virginia Tech, Students here say survivors have to find hope. I just feel that in this time with the shootings at Virginia Tech, you know, they're just for everyone feeling that pain that, you know, there's great people on this earth and it will be okay. There were no official memorials, but there was a prayer service next to the school to erect crosses in honor of those who died. An Oscar-winning filmmaker is taking on a new politically charged project, but it's not for Hollywood, it's for the troops in Iraq. Find out who's using his celebrity status to help the effort. Also, we will show you how wild horses almost kept the Rolling Stones from rocking Belgrade this summer. And an explosive crash caught on tape. Find out what sent this driver plowing through a gas pump. But first, here's a look at what's hot on our website, cbs2.com, where we're always on. This is the CBS2 News at 6. CBS2 News is brought to you by BMW. Visit your Southern California BMW Center today. The BMW 3 Series. We gave it a new 300 horsepower twin turbo engine. And in return, it gave us our 16th consecutive Car and Driver 10 Best Award. Test drive the most impressive sports sedan of the year at your local BMW center today. Lease a BMW 328i for $339 a month until April 30th. This Friday and Saturday is Mervyn's Magic Price Sale. Right now, apply for a Mervyn's card, and if approved, save an extra 20% on your first day's purchases. And save 50% or more on hundreds of items all over the store, like tees and tanks for the family, swim separates for her, young men's shorts, your choice Hillard and Hanson shoes and Elemento flats and canvas, and towels. Save 50% or more all over the store, and get an extra 20% savings all day when you open a Mervyn's card, only at Mervyn's Magic Price Sale. Mom said if I got an A, we could get Reese's Shakes at Baskin Robbins. See you in the car. New Reese's Shakes and Sundays. It's Candy Bar Madness at Baskin Robbins. Yay! Sure, I'm incredibly good looking and date hot models. But when it came to cars, I was stumped. Then I heard the buzz about this book. 
Every single page is filled with car wisdom. It helped me get a fantastic deal on a brand new Kia Spectra. 35 miles to the gallon and a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty program? What can I say? Chicks dig readers. Hurry into your Southern California Kia retailers and enter for a chance to win an 07 Kia Rio. New Dove Pro-Age hair for thickness and fullness from root to tip. It's what your hair needs now. Beauty has no age limit. My Accord sedan makes perfect sense for me. You know, I could say the same about my Accord Coupe. And it gets great gas mileage. You got that right. And you know Honda has the best resale value of anyone out there? Yes, it does. You mean we agree on everything? Well, I am kind of partial to bologna on my pizza. <sighs> Must be a guy thing. Yeah! Lease a Honda Accord for $199 a month for well-qualified customers. The Virginia Tech Massacre and Rosie's Plea. Danny Lynn with Larry, the new custody battle. The baby the size of a cell phone. And the royal wedding no one saw coming. Next, Insider. Tonight at 7.30 on CBS2. From CBS2 Los Angeles, Harold Green, Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain with weather, and Jim Hill Sports. You're watching CBS2 News at 6. At least seven Marines connected to the murders of 24 Iraqi civilians in Haditha, Iraq, have been granted immunity. That means any testimony they volunteer cannot be used against them, making it unlikely charges will be brought against them. Now, this paves the way for the Marines to give their eyewitness testimonies in trials related to the murders and alleged cover-up. Seven other Marines still face charges from the November 2005 attack. Meantime, Oliver Stone is doing his part to get American troops home. He's directing a TV commercial as part of a campaign to get American soldiers out of Iraq. The 30-second spot will air in about three weeks on national television. MoveOn.org says the Oscar-winning director is donating his services. A disappointment in the Anna Nicole Smith saga. Larry Burkhead and Anna Nicole's mother, Virgie Arthur, went behind closed door in a Bahamian court to reach a visitation agreement regarding the seven-month-old child, Denny Lynn, but... A deal wasn't made, so the judge set another hearing for Wednesday. Burkhead says he hopes to leave the Bahamas soon with his daughter. Still ahead for us, an explosive situation at a gas station. A driver who fell asleep at the wheel crashes into a gas pump. It's all caught on tape. Also, it's prom season, and one high school is going to great lengths to make sure their dance is a sober affair. See what they're doing next. And we take a look outside on this Friday night. At the Griffith Park Observatory, we can see some rain clouds. Johnny Mountain says, you're darn right you can. That's his job. He's up next. <laughs> Surprise! I got a few things for the backyard. Whoa! How much did you spend? I went to Ross, so it's more like how much did I save? The outdoor living event at Ross. The savings are incredible. Why would we put a sport tune suspension and magnesium paddle shifters on a Lancer? Not a lap? Let's do it. Because the all new rally inspired Mitsubishi Lancer. Does your back ache, ache, ache? You'll save the most at Ortho Mattress because we sell national brands factory direct. You'll sleep on the best because only Ortho Mattresses are doctor preferred. With Ortho Mattress financing, sleep free for one full year. The Ortho Mattress Spring Sale is on now. Queen sets are on sale for just $299. Call 1-800-734-6784. At Ortho Mattress, say goodbye to ache, 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 and say hello to savings. Dodge Ram Heavy Duty. It's got a new 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine, a new six speed automatic transmission. The only factory installed exhaust brake and is the only 2010 emission compliant diesel pickup in its class. The environmentally responsible Dodge Ram Heavy Duty. Part of the longest lasting, most durable line of pickups. Now get up to a $3,500 cash allowance on one of America's hottest trucks, Dodge Ram Heavy Duty. <laughs> Surprise! I got a few things for the backyard. Whoa! How much did you spend? 
I went to Ross, so it's more like how much did I save? The outdoor living event at Ross. The savings are incredible. Chopper 2 Aerial Coverage, brought to you by Stater Brothers, the low price leader. Gas prices are up. Another big spike in gas prices. That's right. AAA says gas prices have gone up six cents in the Los Angeles Long Beach area this week. The average, $3.32 a gallon. That's 19 cents more than last month, eight cents from an all-time high. It's almost $4 a gallon in some areas. Analysts blame a rise in wholesale prices. An explosive situation at a gas station in West Virginia. A driver who fell asleep at the wheel probably woke up when he barreled right through this gas pump. Security video captured the destruction as the truck crashed right into the convenience store. Amazingly, no one was hurt. No word yet on whether the driver will be charged. And it looks like the Rolling Stones gig at the uh, Belgrade racetrack will stay on course. The concert was in danger of being canceled after some controversy over some horses. Authorities had planned to sedate more than 300 horses stabled just yards away from the concert venue in Belgrade. But animal activists said drugs weren't the answer and the concert should be moved instead. Concert organizers, though, say the show will go on. Officials say they've sedated the horses for rock concerts before with no problem. It's prom season, and one school in Iowa is going the extra mile to eliminate underage drinking. But some students are crying foul. Dubuque's Wallert Catholic High is making parents sign a waiver to allow their child to get a breathalyzer test before entering the dance. Administrators say it's all to make sure the prom is a sober affair. Some students say it's a violation of their privacy. Others say they just don't want to wait in line for the test. School officials say police will be on hand to help administer those tests. Well, Paul Majors is in the newsroom right now with a look at what they're working on for the CBS 2 News at 11. Paul? Harold, thank you very much. It's the latest local memorial planned for Virginia Tech victims as bells tolled across the country for today's day of mourning. Local Virginia Tech alumni are planning their own ceremony. We'll take you there. Plus, a late spring storm dumps snow in the local mountains and more rough weather is expected. We'll take you up to higher elevations for a look at what's happening up there tonight. When we all get together for the CBS 2 News at 11 and the last broadcast from Columbia Square, historic Columbia Square, here in Hollywood as we move to our new digs. Harold, back to you. It's an exciting day all the way around, Paul. Well, Johnny Mountain joins us right now, and I know, my friend, that we wanted to uh, bring some rain to the Southland, but do we have to end the drought in one day today? <laughs> well, we're not going to do that, but you know what? We got to, you know, Harold, we got the type of rain that we really need, which was a nice soaking rain. Began overnight, and it's worked its way all through the area all day long with a nice steady rain. Some thunderstorms out there. Also, some snow as we're at the Blue Ridge area now, and you can see the clouds hanging out there, and we were able to show you some snow in and around the Blue Ridge area only about 25 minutes ago. So here's the storm that it's moving through. Two view Doppler right now as we zoom in near Riverside, we've had some thunder. We were telling you yesterday, uh, get ready for some thunderstorms because there is a low that's out there and it's over us right now and it's bringing in this storm system. And you can see to the east of the downtown area, we still have some very heavy uh, rain going on out to the west, up through Oxnard onto Ventura. It is scattered shower activity and uh, that is the area that we will be looking at tonight, even though the low will be over us. So get ready for maybe some more rain tonight, maybe even a thunderstorm, especially out in some of the foothill or some of the mountain areas. Cool temperatures, cloudy will be around for most most of the day, 55 was our high, 51 the low, normal 74 and 55 as the record was 96 back in 1958. Sunrise at 615 where there could be a shower in the morning. That would be Saturday morning, about a 40% chance of a shower. Clouds and windy light conditions will be with us for most of the day. Cooler temperatures as well. Then late Sunday afternoon and evening, a chance of some more rain coming in, maybe even for Monday morning, but it's going to be warmer for most of next week. Now, I want you to watch this sky tracker. This is where we enhance the idea of showers coming in, and this would be for Saturday. But notice by Sunday, most of the rain, this is Sunday afternoon at 430. Most of the energy of the storm will stay north of Point Conception. But as it moves on through, then by Sunday night, Monday morning, another chance of some light showers. We're going to take another flight, but this one is showing you actually the rain from the night. Rain will be scattered everywhere, but notice by tomorrow afternoon, things are looking pretty good. But then Sunday, showers start to move in. And then by Sunday afternoon, you can see the rain to the north of us, just north of the mountains. Overnight temperatures will be in the 50s. A lot of the areas, even from the coast inland, 50 to upper 40s. Big Bear, 24. Maybe another couple of inches of snow in our local mountains tonight. Lancaster, 40. 52 at Cathedral City. 
That would be the upper 60s that we have for your forecast tomorrow. Just about all of the areas from the coast all the way inland. The exception, of course, would be up at Big Bear, 48 and 77 at Cathedral City. Looking at our weekend, and we will, here's that AM rain that we have for you. Daily Bulletin, 69 degrees for our valleys. And then tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, showers coming in on Sunday. It's going to be a cool weekend, and then we warm up next week. How much? mid 70s is we're going to be sunny and the heat's going to be on. I'll have more for you a little bit later here. All right, John. Thank you for that. Still ahead, Jim Hill with what's next in sports. Jim. Harold, thank you very much. I'm live here at Chavez Ravine where the Dodgers, weather permitting, hope to open up a three game weekend series against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Coming up next, we'll hear from manager Grady Little about the team's good start. And in pro basketball, this is absolutely incredible. You can't believe what Phil Jackson had to say when it comes to motivating his Lakers for the playoffs. That's next in sports. CBS 2 News is sponsored in part by your local Acura dealer. With an exhilarating 258 horsepower VTEC engine, an intelligent performance minded cockpit, double wishbone suspension, and true surround sound, all you need to do is get in. The TL from Acura. Take advantage of attractive financing on select Acura models for well-qualified customers. Now through Tuesday, it's buy one, get one free days at Wix. Enjoy this sofa and love seat for just $10.99. Get the cocktail table and two side tables free. Buy this four-piece bedroom only $9.99. Get the queen bed free. Choose this stylish sofa just $6.99. Get the love seat free. Pick this five-piece dining room now only $7.99. Get the two side chairs free. Plus, payment free till July 2008. So spring into Wix during buy one, get one free days. Sale ends Tuesday. Visit our newest locations in Beaumont, Corona, Santa Clarita, and Victorville. In health as in life, being connected is a beautiful thing. Experience KP.org. Kaiser Permanente. Thrive. People ask me all kinds of questions. Do toilets really eat wood? A colony eats 24 hours a day. We're doomed. Not on my watch. At Oregon, knowledge is our best weapon. You know what would be great? Having a DVD player wherever you go. At the Chrysler National Minivan Sale, get a factory installed rear seat DVD player at no extra charge, plus a cash allowance of up to $4,000 on JD Power and Associates' highest ranked van in initial quality. Chrysler Town and Country. Now, very well qualified buyers get a no extra charge DVD player and up to $4,000 cash allowance or 0% APR on Town and Country. Sure, I'm incredibly good looking and date hot models, but when it came to cars, I was stumped. Then I heard the buzz about this book. Every single page is filled with car wisdom. It helped me get a fantastic deal on a brand new Kia Spectra. 35 miles to the gallon and a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty program. What can I say? Chicks dig readers. Hurry into your Southern California Kia retailers and enter for a chance to win an 07 Kia Rio. Next, E.T. Larry Burkhead back in court today. Plus Lonnie Anderson's WKRP confession. It was a little more than a kiss. It was like, woo. And Hannah Montana now and then. Say hi, E.T. No. Next, E.T. Tonight at 7 on CBS 2. Jim is out at Dodger Stadium. And Jim, I just checked with Johnny Mountain and said, do you think they'll get the ball game in tonight with the weather? And he says, yeah, he believes that the game will get underway and uh, they should be able to complete it. Is that what Johnny Mountain said? That's what he said, buddy. You know how right he is every time, don't you? I sure do. He's yeah, real good. You know what, though? He is real good, and I think they're <laughs> going to get it in. That is for sure, because the Dodgers are open to uh, open up a, a three-game weekend series against the Pittsburgh Pirates, not out at Chavez Ravine, weather permitting it. It looks like it's going to happen, as Johnny was talking about. And with a record of 11-5, and five, the Dodgers have the best record in the big leagues. And manager Grady Little told me just a little while ago it's all because of a team effort. We're certainly pleased with the way things have started out. We, we know it's a long season. But we feel like um, as the days go by, we're going to continue to get better and better. Skipper, what pleases you the most about your team now? I think the uh, production all the way up and down through the lineup with the depth of the lineup all the way down from the 
number one hitter all the way through the eight hitter. We feel like we got some people that can produce for us. Meanwhile in hockey, Duck fans had plenty to cheer about last night at the Honda Center. They beat Minnesota 4-1 to one to take the best of seven series, four games to one. Goalie J.S. Shigeo stopped 26 shots, and he said the crowd was a huge help. They're really into it. Uh, this is as loud as it gets in this building, so uh, uh, hopefully we get many more games like that, and uh, uh, people just seem to be enjoying themselves you know, when they come to uh, uh, watch us play, and uh, uh, it makes you feel good. Meanwhile, the NBA playoffs begin for the Lakers Sunday in Phoenix against those tough Suns. And, of course, to get the, his team in the right frame of mind, head coach Phil Jackson sold his uh, team some film clips today at their film session. Well, we had uh, Little Miss Sunshine and, and, uh, <laughs> and Hustle and Flow. <laughs> and, it, it, you know, the entertainment, um, everyone kind of, like, helps, like, I guess, um, keep focus. After practice, Phil was asked if there was any message he was trying to send to his players with those two films, particularly the 2005 movie, Hustle and Flow. Um, you know, it's hard out here for a pimp, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Harold, I don't know and I don't want to know what he meant by that, that is for sure. But here at Dodger Stadium, as you can see, the tarp is on the field, the, cl the cloud uh, is uh, clearing. <clears throat> And it looks like they're going to play baseball. And as uh, Vince Scully and Johnny Mon have been telling us, it will be time for Dodger baseball. And you'll see it on our sister station, KCAL 9. Reporting live from Chavez Ravine, Jim Hill, CBS 2 News. Harold, back to you now. Hey, Jim, maybe he was thinking about his team. You know, a little hustle and flow would go a long way to a victory. I'll, I'll take that answer, Harold. Absolutely. I'll take that one. All right, my friend. All right, buddy. All right, do you want to know who the oldest living American is? She just celebrated her birthday today. We will introduce you to her next. And ahead on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric, Tragedy at Virginia Tech, a special report. Mercury Insurance has incredible team driver rates. If that doesn't prove it's run by aliens from the planet Mercury, I don't know what does. Time to go undercover. <laughs> hey, what's a 411? Is that blueberry? That flavor's off the hook. You buy that with money your parents saved on your Mercury car insurance? You know it's run by aliens. Call 888-4-MERCURY or visit mercurytheory.com. This Friday and Saturday is Mervyn's Magic Price Sale. Right now, apply for a Mervyn's card, and if approved, save an extra 20% on your first day's purchases. And save 50% or more on hundreds of items all over the store, like tees and tanks for the family, swim separates for her, young men's shorts, your choice Hillard & Hanson shoes and Elemento flats and canvas, and towels. Save 50% or more all over the store, and get an extra 20% savings all day when you open a Mervyn's card, only at Mervyn's Magic Price Sale. Nothing is certain but death and taxes. Every advantage has its tax. This Saturday and Sunday, we pay the sales tax. The price you see is the price you pay. That's a good one, Al. Presenting the Osh We Pay the Sales Tax event, this Saturday and Sunday only. Step one, Osh. A happy birthday wish goes out to the oldest living person in the U.S. Edna Parker turned 114 today. She celebrated with friends and family in central Indiana. Edna has five grandchildren, 11 great-grandchildren, and a whole lot of great-great-grandchildren. The oldest person in the world is a Japanese woman. She was born in 1893, more than three months before Edna. Happy birthday there. Well, that's it for us here at 6. Remember, we're always on at CBS2.com. And we know you have many choices for news, and we thank you for choosing CBS2. For Jim Hill and Johnny Mountain, I'm Harold Green. The CBS Evening News with Katie Couric is next.